So here I want to talk about uh, this x comma point. Uh, this was used in the slide just previous to this when we uh, proved the equivalence of reduced homology of a good pair and of uh, x modulo a. So you take a pair x comma x naught. and you try to construct a long exact sequence of it. So let us write the long exact sequence of this pair. Yeah, so these are reduced homology groups, therefore I'm placing tilde over them. Then Hn minus 1, x naught. The reduced homology group of a point is 0. And that is precisely what we are going to use. So this is 0. And this is 0. Now you know that the reduced homology group of a pair is same as the homology group of the pair. This we had proved before and this keeps on coming up again and again. So you should memorize this. So let us write this down separately. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. So this result was used just uh, previously okay so I'm writing it here because we need to use this result into the corollary which I'm going to mention right now so you take a wedge sum and you form inclusion maps Yeah, each space x alpha is included into the corresponding with sum. Yeah, so so what we want to know is now what is the impact on the homology groups between these individual spaces x alpha and their wedge sum. So you have these individual spaces and the wedge sum what is the impact so this produces an isomorphism between the homology groups it should be a uh, it is direct sum of those homology groups for each x alpha we take the direct sum and this goes to the with space yeah so this will become more clear when I do an example which is immediately after this yeah the sum is fixed at these base point x alpha so you every space big x alpha you designate a point in it then say space x1 has a designated point say a1 then space x2 has a designated point a2 space x3 has a designated point a3 then you glue these spaces together at those particular specified points so here we are donating space by capital X subscript alpha and their points as small x subscript alpha so small x subscript alpha lies in this big space yeah so again these pairs are good obviously if the pairs are not good then even the long exact sequence of homology reduced homology groups would not hold so we can use the above result only if the pairs are good so what is the proof so we know that 
reduced homology is equal to homology modulo a base point which is just shown above and this idea was also used on the uh, on in the proof on the previous slide yeah the very first line of the theorem or the proposition we had placed this so there is nothing nothing special about it so we just use the proposition on the previous page and we take the pair x comma a as so you know with sum is nothing but disjoint union modulo all the points where we stick them together so to form wedge sum of say three spaces x1 x2 x3 you designate a point a1 in space x1 a2 in space x2 a3 in space x3 take the disjoint union of the space take the disjoint union of these points glue them together so a1 a2 a3 are all identified to a single point say v so we get a wedge sum so take x a like this so x modulo a then will give you the wedge sum that is disjoint union of x alpha modulo disjoint union of the designated points what you get is a wedge sum and that is the end of the proof yeah so we are just using proposition 2.22 or and the result above LES of reduced homology groups that is uh, pretty much it so again uh, so x pi now gives us the wedge product so I'm just drawing how wedge product would look like You're taking three spaces designated points and gluing them together now the example this example makes the uh, previous corollary more clear so what does this example consist of there are again three spaces here one is s2 and there are two other spaces s1 and another s1 yeah so we have a wedge sum s2 s1 and s1 so we want to compute the reduced homology of the space so obviously there are no three cells or higher so it is zero in three and higher dimension so we need to worry about zero one and two so start with two so you take the direct sum Yeah, so these H two S one reduced homology is zero. This is also zero. So what we get is just integers. So again, we get Z plus Z. And H0, we just need to write again H0, S2, H0, S1, H0, S1. And we know reduced homology groups. These are reduced homology groups. So there are zero in all three of them. this is 0, this is 0 and this is 0 now we could have done the computation directly yeah so there is a single vertex V this is C1 in C2 yeah this should be C0 
Yeah, C0 is single vertex C. C1 consists of two S1s, which is Z plus Z, and C2 consists of a single two cell S2. Yeah, so it's all multiplication by zero because there are two loops, and when you subtract vertex from vertex, you get zero. And similarly, the space S2 does not give uh, rise to any edges the way it is glued. So therefore, since it is multiplication by zero, uh, image is always zero. So what we get is kernel and the kernel is equal to the homology in all three dimensions because image is always zero of the previous map. So the entire chain complex here is getting mapped to zero. So I mean, this is a general principle. If you have a reduced, homo if you have a sequence like this, this was a sequence exactly what we observed in Torus 2. So H0 will be equal to C0, H1 will be equal to C1 because the image of the map, previous map is 0 and the kernel is that the entire complex is getting mapped to 0. So that's what we have written. So this is precisely the homology groups we got for torus also. But uh, torus and this space are not equivalent and this will be shown by using cohomology. Yeah, so we see homology is not as powerful as cohomology, but there, so homology groups are same, but not same are the cohomology groups. This we will compute later on.